Oh, in lane four, Jamaica expected to uh, put out a fabulous time here. Nelson, White, Birchall, McGregor, their squad. Scotland, they will be uh, quick as well. Singapore and India, and the Indian squad with their tails up, who knows what they can do on paper. They uh, may qualify, but frankly, with the advantage of uh, some fabulous results bolstering their spirits this morning by other members of their team, we may see India outperform themselves here. So, the Jamaicans, lead-off athlete, that's uh, Nelson just adjusting her blocks. England uh, took gold four years ago on the Gold Coast ahead of Jamaica and Nigeria in third. Well, they're still going through their preparations. So let's return our attention to this hammer competition. Adam Keenan, one of three Canadians. He pulled a really classy trio and he was ever so close to the podium on the Gold Coast. And that looks like it's the closest effort we've seen to the 70-metre line so far. Knocked out in the qualifiers in Eugene. Very tight at the top of the leaderboard. Jones is just a few, oh, and half a metre up on McAfee. Both of them on 68 metres. Keenan's watching and waiting here lovely morning the flags not fluttering as strongly as they were he goes into the lead by a single centimeter the canadian good start for him meanwhile the women getting ready for the first of the two semi-finals top three in each going through to the big showdown well jamaica were champions in uh Scotland in 2014 in those uh, wonderfully organized games in Glasgow but uh, beaten by England bit of an upset that four years ago they'll want to get back on the top of the rostrum but first they must get that baton round these uh, four athletes baton speed is critical the changeovers need to be smooth and you can quite often in relays get a squad of moderate talents defeating a squad of super talents if the changeovers are strong if you can maintain baton speed through keeping it to really smooth changeovers then uh, you can quite often get some rather strange results here's the leadoff athlete for the india chand she'll hand over to das then nanda and iraji on the outside they can focus on their own job the uh, indian record 43.37 Singapore go in lane six. Pereira will hand over to Zaini, then Chandran and Liu. In lane five, Scotland, Matheson, always Malone, good carriers of the baton at the Scotland. Commonwealth Games. Matheson, Reese, Malone, and Spence, their quartet. In four, Nelson, the Jamaicans, White, well, they start Virgil as favourites here, surely, Jamaica. with Nelson, White, Birchall, and McGregor making up their foursome. Their uh, national record 41-02. Here is the Maltese quartet and the leadoff runner Atapardi. She'll hand over to Richard, Kikluna, and Wingfield. And then the Maldives on the inside with uh, Hussein, Mohammed, Hassan, and Mohammed again making up their forces. Well, the uh, second fastest time ever is by Jamaica that was last year at the uh, Olympic Games 4102 only the USA have ever gone under 41 seconds anything down in the uh, low 42s is very very crisp and in fact only Jamaica have been down there the Scottish record for example 44.35 is for the Scottish uh, best this season 44.35 the first of two heats in the women's 4x100 metres, then the first three teams go through by right to tomorrow's final. Maldives in two, Malta three, Jamaica going four in the yellow, Scotland in five, Singapore six, India <coughs> seven. Away they go. And already Jamaica making up ground 
on Scotland centre of picks at Jamaica almost up alongside Matheson of Scotland has been a brilliant leg from Nelson a safe changeover not a fast changeover from the Jamaicans the Scots pretty much matched them but down the back straight the second leg runner from Jamaica moving really, really well at the moment that is right she hands over that was a good changeover from the Jamaican Scotland in second going really well on the outside India going pretty well too it's Jamaica from India at the moment India having a really good run here their backs are up as Jamaica take it over on the final leg down the home straight looking really strong it's McGregor now storming away with this that's an eight or nine meter winning margin India comfortably second Scotland in third and a really close battle for the fourth places there but 43 66 by Jamaica there well it was a safe squad that got it round well enough let's hope there are no red flags and that all the changeovers were good for every team but uh, that was a huge winning margin and an equally huge gap behind india rob yes scotland uh, getting the best of that battle for the third spot wingfield was finishing very quickly for malta on the ankle leg the indians had a a very sluggish changeover from third to anchor but how well did they go down the back straight they've taken second Scotland have gone through by a couple of tenths of a second Singapore and Malta very very close behind but we will see the Scottish quartet in the final the Jamaicans are so good they've got such a great reputation the Olympic champions the silver medalists in Eugene gold in Glasgow and They've got Elaine Thompson here, who they can draft into the final. Not, not, a, not a bad name to add to the list, a four-time individual Olympic champion. Yeah, Thompson here has looked superb all week, hasn't she? Getting fitter all the time. That was a safe changer from the Indians on the outside. I expected a little more from Scotland. I thought they'd be closer to India, that's for sure. But uh, look at this changer from Scotland. Oh, awful changeover, final changeover there from Scotland looked to me like the outgoing runner went off a little bit early for them that was uh, Spence indeed they're only just ahead of Singapore and you'd expect uh, from a world drill squad like the Scots a bigger margin but so they are through safely sorry Rob yeah so Jamaica, good the India Jamaicans. And Scotland so so good the Jamaicans you could see Spence coming under a little bit of pressure there for that third spot with the fast finish of Wingfield from Malta. Watch this last changeover for the Indians just on the left of picture. Took them a while. Can't quite see her. And also, as you said, it was a, a little bit sluggish from the Scots. But poetry in motion, the Jamaican quartet. And they will be smarting after finishing second to the United States in Eugene. But despite the fact that we've got great teams going in the second of the heats England as the defending champions the Jamaicans would surely line up as the joint favourites at least and England well they've swapped victories at the Commonwealth Games with Jamaica the last four editions have gone Jamaica England Jamaica England Jamaica of course as Tom as uh, Rob rightly pointed out can be through by right Scotland a PB there 45 39 I'm not sure that is actually correct Singapore Malta and Maldives not automatic qualifiers. Singapore and Malta may go through. We'll have to wait and see. For